The Dimios has beat us. Funny how all great men are reduced to food for maggots. This is a cemetery for our ambitions. No. No, it can't be. Where is Caesar? He has arrived in Alexandria. He is heavily guarded, so there's... Bring me to him. I will get to Caesar if I have to drag myself through the sewers of the palace. It is rare that our cargo is a goddess. I apologize. We have no kings or queens on our ship. Only gods and goddesses. So you should fit right in. All strange and terrible things are welcome. <laughs> I am worried that my quarters are not as comfortable as your palace. Comforts? We despise them. <laughs> my loyal shield boy! Are you fit? I am in awe of this goddess. We must do her well. I can't believe she's on our ship. Hey, don't be fooled by appearances. She needs us more than we need her. <laughs> ah, yeah. She is the real goddess. There, in the distance. Aya, already showing Bayek the best places to make love, huh? Enough, Fox. It is time to make war. Brothers at sea, today we carry a precious cargo. Queen Cleopatra, great lady in perfection. She of the sage and bee, with so many other cocksure titles, my breath falters just to think of them. Now, into you the dream? life of a scoundrel. I prefer having a charade of pieces. Only a charade. A charade can be hard to come by. He speaks! The great Medjai! We are at sea. We need to the sea if you are. Our fire! We may have done that. Here. Easier to sail about when the sea is empty of ships trying to sink you. Once a dozen missing triremes, not a lot they made fleet. A fleet awaits your command, Aya! Our catapults will fire upon your order! Which one is the god of fire? Wake him up! And tell him it's time to unleash his wrath! The air stinks, but not the Vorsmen. It's something else. Hold, Foxidas. Look there, and the water. Speed! 
the day I mean. <laughs> Let's not celebrate too roundly, old man. We're afloat in the sea with a cargo with a thousand ships. Yeah, I wonder if Cleopatra survived unmarked. Those clothes looked expensive. All are safe, we are done. <laughs> Attacking starboard! Oh, we are not done! Ptolemy's Malachi are not dead yet! Get out of the ring boats! Use the fog to hide your escape! I will take care of this. Destiny is a fucker sometimes, Aya. Enjoy the calm water. I will stay in the storm. Free, you fool! Don't mind the flaming arrows, huh? <laughs> For battle, we will honor our goddess! Pompey was your enemy, Caesar. He was my friend first. But you are right, Ptolemy. Now let us discuss our alliance. <clears throat> what is this? Forgive, Lord Caesar. We bring a gift from our pharaoh, Cleopatra. Pharaoh? This is no gift. These are my sister's friends. It is a trap. In place of an envoy, Cleopatra sends a rug? I wonder how you all entered my palace. God! Kill these traitors! My wretched brother. He's at the wine go to vinegar. And my kingdom to pieces. Great lady. Your audacity is equaled only by your beauty. Flavius, please. I can offer you what my brother failed at with me. Marriage. A true marriage, that is. If you ally with my sister, I will kill every last Roman in Alexandria. Enough of the big words, little brother. Out, all. You will each be sent for when our Congress is concluded. I wish to hear both Ptolemy's side of the story. Septimius, gone. We missed them. You will have your vengeance soon. This is Cleopatra's time to officially become queen. If she is crowned queen, we will be able to act from within. Crush the network. Tomorrow, our queen will have turned flattery into progress. We'll reconvene tomorrow at the gardens. You proved your worth tenfold today. You truly are great magis. <laughs>